Alright, this is the uh, our Ford scan tool, the OBD scan e e FST thirty nine, just in the twenty twelve Ford Ranger here. Um, so just showing what it can do. So your OBD two port will be uh, like wherever it is placed. In no, like this case, it is actually behind the um, fuse panel here, which you can just uh, like a pull off. You can see it is this port here. So again, plug the tool in see it'll power up you can turn the ignition on so that's it we just have the um the keys powered on and we just go through so go across for forward okay identify the vehicle ranger check it's all right there So you can do a quick scan to scan all the modules on the vehicle. So there you go, and I'll tell you if it's okay or not. So here it's picked up a few um, faults, obviously. Turn the motion sensor, um, left turn indicator. So some of these faults are, this is a tray back, can be caused by... Um, just what's been fitted after market to the car. Um, so you can see you've got your fault codes coming up for your different uh, models. Then obviously if you go into it you can um, erase them, read them, or you can also uh, like read the data stream. So that'll pull out all the data um, that's uh, coming in so 169 pieces of data are coming in from that like a module so that's uh, like uh, basically how you do a system scan um, you can also like manually select the system you want to scan then you got your special functions so depending on what the uh, like car is and what you're doing um, you, you might have battery management reset which you should do when you put in a new uh, battery A DPF regen. There's certain different things in here. So, like, uh, because like some of these like a service functions, it is best to know what you're doing. Um, because, for example, that one just told you what to do. That you have to run. You need to cool it in the engine up to a certain temperature before a DPF a static regen will actually happen. That's if you put a new part of a like filter in. rear brake maintenance so those are your special functions so these are basically also like service functions that are like <laughs> need to be done at times um, it'll take you through like, like step by step but if you are performing like these it's good to have some knowledge or have the service manual handling you need one of these tools to perform a lot of the other functions so that sort of takes you through what it can do on there for a Ford Ranger so you can do a full system scan and also run your like special functions